Hi guys, welcome. So I started this video a few minutes early just to make sure that everything is going smoothly and on time and that you can also just set up. Um, let me just make sure that this is right. Okay, so um, for today, we'll be doing a full body 45 minute Pilates workout. I have planned a workout that is for everyone, so um, at all levels. So if you have never done Pilates before, or you're new to Pilates, just take it easy, push yourself to your limits, but also make sure that you are not pushing beyond that. So just listen to your body. For those of you that are following and that have done Pilates with me before or are instructors, you know how far you can push. So if you find the exercises quite easy, make sure that you apply the watch points and follow my cues because that should actually intensify it quite a bit. If you're still finding it easy, modify the exercise. You should be at a point where you can modify for yourself. Um, to introduce myself, my name is Nadia, and I have Pilates in Joburg called Pilates Connection. We have seven other phenomenal instructors at the studio, and I've done Pilates for about 10 years now, and I'm also an aerial yoga instructor, and during the time, I've also done quite a lot of other courses. Um, I'd like to encourage you to just focus today on precision in the movements. So really focus on doing the movement properly. Think about where your movement is coming from, not just moving the body quickly and try and intensify it by engaging your deeper muscles. Um, we'll be using the gliders today. So if you have two um, clots or two paper plates, that's perfectly fine. So you can use that and the mat. Let me just tilt the screen down so you can see everything. Cool. That should be fine. Yeah. Um, what else? If you have any injuries or medical conditions, please just take it as it comes really. And you should know your body. So um, if you need to modify it, modify it. And if you need to let me know, you can also try and message me and I can try and add those work, um, those options for you really. Okay, so today we'll have some traditional exercises, but quite a few contemporary moves just to move the body. So my plan for today was to just get your body moving in all ranges of motion um, and in all planes of motion and to just get the body loosened up since lockdown has been now nine weeks today. Um, okay, so I think we're ready to start. Let me. So let's start by having your feet on the gliders. I've folded my mat up in half because I don't have enough space, so you're welcome to do the same. Um, you're going to start with a roll down. So if you just tuck your chin into your chest, articulate down through your spine, your feet should be about parallel hip width, and just do a forward fold. In this position, if you need to soften the knees, you're welcome to do so. Take a deep inhale and soften your neck a little bit more. And then you're going to curl into the pelvis and roll right up to a standing position. And we go again. Curl, tuck the chin into the chest and roll down. Focus on pulling the belly button in and go right down. See if you can go a little bit lower this time. Don't force it though. Then curl again into the tailbone, coming up one vertebra at a time, all the way to standing. From here, you're going to send your hips back and go into a chair pose. So you send the hips back, knees don't go too far forward, and you lift your arms up to the ceiling. Then drop the arms down as you round into your back. Extend the legs up to ceiling and then curl into the pelvis and roll back up. And we go again. So you bend the legs into chair, lift your arms up. Make sure that you're not uh, anteriorly tilting too much, so just tuck into the pelvis slightly. Hold it here with your arms extended parallel to ground, and we're going to pull the one arm up, back and around, basically drawing a rainbow with that hand. If you look at your knees now, they need to be in alignment to make sure that the one hasn't gone in front of the other. Hold it here, return to center, and we go the other way. So 
Take the left hand, go round and back as wide as you can with the hand. Have a check with the knees. What are they doing? And then back and into center. One more to each side like this. So you take it around and up. See if you can rotate into your thoracic spine a little bit more. And then back to the start. One more to the left. Go up, back and around. One to the knees. And forward. In this position, keep your knees bent. Let's round into your back. Just tap the tailbone in. Send your hips up to ceiling, straightening the legs. And then you're going to curl and lift again. Okay. Back into chair. Now, if your feet are on the gliders, you're going to take your one leg back and extend it out. Place your hands down on the floor. If you can't reach the floor, that's fine. Even better, have them just off without your chest resting heavily on your thigh. So lift it just off. And we're going to pull this right leg in and then you kick it back out. Okay, so pull it in and kick it back out. Be mindful as to where that knee is. Three, four, it needs to be in alignment with your middle toe. Five, extend and pull six. Make sure you go full extension in the knee and then you pull seven. And eight, and nine, remember you can have your hands on the floor. 10, now we change sides. You extend the left leg back in nice and long. So you're either here with your torso or your hands are down on the floor and you bend and you extend. One and two, see if you can activate the glute, not just the quad, three. And extend four and extend five. And extend six. Focus on pulling the belly button in seven. Look at the knee. Eight, where is it going? Nine, one more. And ten. Feet together, curl through your spine and roll up. Okay, from there you're going to extend your one leg to the side. Let's say right leg turns out to the side. Left leg is in a 45 degree angle and you're going into a curtsy squat by bending down low. In this position, we drop the chest forward as we extend both legs up to ceiling. Then you bend and come up into your curtsy. That's all we're doing. So chest down, extend both legs, bend both legs, and just lift your chest up. Two, chest down, Extend both. This is just to get you nice and warm. And then back up. Three. Chest down, hands on the floor for balance. Extend both legs. Get a nice hammy stretch in the stabilizing leg. Then down and upright. Four. Chest down. Extend. Bend. Chest up. Five. We've got five more. Long leg at the back. A lot of people tend to bend that back leg. Four more. Hands down. Extend nice and long with the back leg. Tap it down. Come up right. Three more. The front leg should be burning. And it should be nice and awake now. Two more. Hands down. Kick nice and high. Tap it down. Upright with your body. And last one, hands down. Extend nice and long. Hold it for a second or two longer here. Then land the foot back onto your glider. Come upright and then return. Now we need to repeat it on the other side. So left leg goes out to the side. Right leg is in a bit of a turnout. And then we go around with that left leg into your curtsy. From here, Lean forward with your body as you straighten both legs. Then you land and come up right. One. So a nice way to work onto your balance as well. And up. Two. And hands down. Nice long extension in both legs. Hold it to find your balance. Then down and lift. Three. And again. 
lift up, hold it, contract your abs throughout, then down, and four. Again, long legs, see if you can extend the front leg a little bit more. Five, five more, and kick, and down, and lift, six, and kick, and down, and lift, with your chest, seven, you've got three more, think about a nice open shoulder, two more, long leg at the back, and on that last one, we just hold it for a few extra counts. So hold it here. Really focus on that length of the back leg. Hold for two and slowly down onto a glider into that upright position. And then you come up. From here, we're going to take a seat on the end of that. Make sure that you've got space in front to work with. Okay. And then let's roll down. So see sitting. Hands go onto the back of the legs. Before you roll down, we're just going to stretch out your spine a little bit. So feet about parallel hip width apart. Hands on the back of the legs. Sit up nice and tall. And then from there, you're going to inhale, extend out through your thoracic spine and your lumbar. So you're trying to really arch the back, press your sternum forward. And then with your exhale, you do the opposite. Round your back. Shoulders over his still. You're just curling and pulling the belly button in. And then you extend. Chest forward. Long torso. Think about the chest opening as well. And then you curl. Rounding into the lower back. One more. You open the chest. Sit really tall off your sitting bones. And then you curl. Now on this last curl, extend your arms forward and roll down all the way until your shoulder blades touch the floor. Okay, arms go up to ceiling. Just need to move down a bit. Straighten your legs and in this position, feel what your rib cage is doing. So you don't want to be pushing the ribs out. You need to actually actively pull the rib cage downward and inward a little bit so the back doesn't arch. Inhale, lift your arms up to 90 degrees. Exhale, chin to chest, and we're going to roll up. So tucking, roll right through your spine, and lean forward over your legs. Here, you're going as far as you can, so don't force it to go really far. Just get a nice hammy and back stretch. Hold it for a second or two. Take a deep breath in. When you exhale, let's lift those arms up and extend your back. You're not sitting upright. You're still in that forward fold. You're just lengthening up the spine and lifting your arms up as high as you can. From here, you curl into the pelvis. Let's roll back. Think about going down one vertebra at a time. Really take your time with this. Then arms go to your ears. Remember not to arch the back. Keep the rib cage in. Arms go to 90 towards the ceiling. Tuck your chin in and roll up again. Use your exhale to come up. Stretch over your legs. Hold it here for a second or two. You're going to inhale, lift your chest up. Extend your back as much as you can in this position. Lifting the arms in line with your ears. So it's a really hard move if you really lengthen the spine. And then you curl into the spine and roll down all the way to starting. You have one more. Arms go to ears. Watch out for the spine. Arms go to 90. <clears throat> Exhale, tuck into your chin. Roll up, vertebra, vertebra, all the way forward. Now we're going to go into a few rotations here. So let's lift the chest up. Now in this position, if you can't achieve this extension in the spine, bend your knees a little bit. And that's going to assist the hammies and the lower back to just extend a little bit more. If you can do it with straight legs, go ahead. So, arms stay in line with your ears. You're going to rotate to the one side. So let's all rotate to me and just see how far you can go without rounding into your back. So you still keep that extension. 
And now we're going to exhale, face front. Now going the other way. Inhale, rotate as much as you can. Hold it here, see if you can lengthen a little bit more in your lower back. And then exhale, return. You've got two more to each side. Inhale to the one, hold it, lengthen the spine. See if you can go a little deeper in your rotation. And then you return. And to the other side, hold it. Again, lengthen the spine. See if you can rotate a little bit deeper. And return. Last one to each side. So inhale to the one, hold it, length, really pull the sitting bones down to the floor, head to the ceiling, return, and other way, twist, hold it, length a little bit more, lengthen, and return. From here, you're going to bend your legs with the bottom of the feet together and knees open to the side. Try to release your knees and really go as wide as you can. Arms are going to go forward, curl into the pelvis, and go down as low as you can, but you need to maintain this position. So if you put your fingers behind the scalp, elbows wide, you shouldn't be toppling back, so you should be able to maintain it. Hold it here. Try actively curl in the lower back just a little bit more, and we're going to pull the right knee to the right elbow. So you take one knee, pull it to the elbow and laterally flex to that side. And then you tap it back down, same side. Exhale to pull, inhale to tap for two. Exhale to pull, inhale to tap for three. And pull, and tap four. Think about that lateral flexion in the torso. Five, it shouldn't be going into your back, six if it is. Come up a notch with your torso. Seven. And three more. Open that left knee. Two more. Good. Last one. And tap it down. Other side. Left knee to left elbow. And tap it down for one. And two. Try to open up your shoulders. Three. So you're not putting any tension in the shoulders. Four. Try to direct that energy into your abs. Five, pull, and six, exhale. Seven, exhale to contract. Eight, two more. One more, and rest. Now your rest is arms are forward. Hold this position, release your inner thighs a little bit more. And we're going to roll all the way down, but in 10 counts. So take it really slow. So down for one, for two, for three, for four, five, six, stay at seven, eight, nine, and 10. On 10, your shoulder blades are on the mat. Have a nice C curve here. Bring your knees in, and we're going to lift one leg up at a time into tabletop. So in this position, you don't want to be straining the neck. So lift your head up. It's like you're chilling to your chest, and just hold it there, supporting your neck with your hands. Feet are going to be in a parallel stance, and in tabletop legs, meaning 90 degrees in your knees and in your hip. Focus on pulling the navel in. So you're not squishing your back flat on the floor, but I don't want you to arch either. So find that middle ground between the two and you hold that position. From there, we're going to do toe taps. So right foot goes down to the floor without any shift in your hips. And then you lift it up, other leg. Left leg goes down on the floor and you lift it up. And for the third one, both legs go down. And you lift it up and again, right. Lift, left, lift, both, lift, good, and right. We're just going for five, lift, and both, three, right, and left, and both, two more, right, lift the head a little higher, and both, last one, right, and left, and both, 
hug your knees into your chest, head goes down. You can also just rock side to side a little bit. Now we're going to go into the single leg stretch, which is a popular Pilates exercise. So if you lift your head up into C curve, use your hands and see if you can lift a little higher. So achieve that really high C curve. From there, we're going to send your right leg forward as you pull your left knee into your chest. Hold it here, find your core, find your stability in the hips, and now we change. Left leg straight, right leg bent. Don't interlock your fingers and pull for two. Extend, extend, three. Swapping the legs, right leg extended, left leg extended, four, right, left, five, breathe, six. Inhale for one, exhale for the other, seven. Inhale for one, exhale, eight. Got two more. Nine, right, and left, ten. Hug both knees into the chest. Drop your head down. Now we've got one more exercise in this position. You're going to lift back into that tabletop position we did earlier. So one leg up to tabletop, other leg up to tabletop. And if you look at your feet, I want your feet to be together, but your knees to open as wide as your hips. So you're in a bit of a turnout with the feet. Then let's lift the head back up into the C curve. Fingers are behind the skull, elbows are wide. Now we're going to go slowly with this one to really get the movement right. So from here, I want your right elbow to go to the outside of your left knee. Then you pull the knees in and try to lift your hips up a little bit. So it's a reverse crunch, basically. Then you send your legs away and you center. So now left elbow to right knee. Then pull the knees in, crunch a little bit, push the knees away, and only then return. So this is one. Right elbow to left knee. Pull the knees in, crunch a little bit, push the knees away, and only then return. Other way. Left elbow to right knee. Pull the knees in, crunch a little bit, push them away, and center. It's two. And again. Right elbow to the outside of the left knees. Pull the knees up, extend them away, then open the arms. Other side, left knee to right out, <laughs> left knee, pull it in, center, and open. Okay, and again, you've got two more. Right elbow to left knee, pull it in, crunch it up a little bit, center it, and then open the arms. To the left elbow and right knee, Pull the knees in and try to do that reverse crunch. Push it away and center. If you've got one more, try to push through it. Right elbow, left knee. Pull the knees in. Crunch. Push them away. Then open the elbows. Last one. Left elbow to right knee. Pull the knees in. Crunch. Push them away. Center. Legs down, head down. You're going to move your body if you have shifted. So your glutes are quite close to the end of your mat. Place your feet on your glide, gliders, and they should be by your feet by now, still. And how about heels on, about hip width apart with your feet. Arm at your sides, we're going to go into some pelvic curls. So you're going to tuck into the pelvis posteriorly and lift up one vertebra at a time. Use your exhale to articulate up vertebra by vertebra. In this position, open up your shoulders. Have a nice strong core, ribs pushing downward and inward. Hold it here. Find your glutes and try to activate them just a little bit more. Hold, and now we roll down all the way through the spine. And the glutes are the last thing that comes down, so make sure you do that articulation. And we go again, we're just doing three of these. Curl into your pelvis first, lift only the glutes up, then the lower back, middle back, and onto your shoulder blades. And you're trying to lift so your hips, your shoulders, and your knees are in one straight line with no arching in the back. Hold it here, squeeze your glutes, and now let's also try and engage your inner thighs by actively pulling the knees in a little bit. You should feel some shaking happening, and then you roll down all the way. Vertebra by vertebra. 
one more, and let's curl into the sacrum, squeeze into your glutes, pulling up, peeling your spine off the mat, hold it here, lift your arms up to ceiling, again, remember your glutes, your inner thighs, pull your arms to the ears and relax them over here, and now roll down, one vertebra at a time, it's just a nice massage on the upper back. When the glutes touch, arms go down to the sides. Now we're going to start adding some hammy curls. So you're going to curl and lift into that pelvic curl and hold it there. So let's lift, hold it, find your proper posture here. So open up the shoulders, keep that curl in the pelvis. Your right leg is going to push out. Straighten it as much as you can without dipping the hips. And then you pull it in. Then your left leg pushes out. And you pull it in. And back to the right. Right leg extends. Make sure the right hip doesn't drop. Pull it in. Left leg extends. And pull it in. Good. That's two. Keep going. Right leg. Use that hammy to pull the leg back in. Then left leg extends. Slide that glider out. Pull it in. That's three. Two more to each side. Right leg straightens. Pull. Left leg straightens. Pull. Right in. One more. Right leg extends. Open and in. Other side. Left leg extends. And in. Now roll down and just give your glutes and your hands a small break. And while you're having a break, squeeze your heels together in a Pilates stance, which is to toes separated heels together. And your knees should automatically open up a little bit. Now for the next exercise, we're going to try add on the previous one and do a bilateral hammy curl. So let's lift into the hips again, vertebra by vertebra. Nothing has changed with the pelvic curl. You're going to hold it here, activate your glutes, activate the hamstrings by pulling your heels actively towards you. And now we're going to straighten your legs outward, both legs straighten. As much as you can, not fully, you don't need to. Your hips need to stay up, that's going to guide you. Then from there, pull your heels in towards each other. So you straighten your legs out, and then you pull them in, two. This is much harder than the first one, of course. And pull, three. Think about your rib cage. Press it downward and inward, four. Extend out, and pull, five. Now feet parallel hip width. Find your curl. Make sure the hips haven't dropped. Hold your hips up. Okay. Work on that endurance in the glutes. Now you're going to do parallel extensions with both legs, just for five. You press it out, you pull it in. One, press it out, pull it in. Two, you don't need to go to full extension in the knees. Three, you might be cramping a little bit. Four, one more. And five, hold it here. Roll down through the spine, massage it down all the way. You can hug your knees into the chest. Wiggle side to side if you need to massage the lower back and glutes. And now we're going to do the single leg stretch, but with some articulation. So what you're doing is you're pulling your one knee into your chest. Other leg extends out again, and you're going to roll up as you exchange legs. We're just doing it for six. So you come up and slowly roll down. Here we're focusing on control. How slowly are you lifting? How slowly are you going down? Two, exhale, lift, use your breath, slowly down for three, and you not use any momentum, and down for four, exhale up, and five, on the sixth one we hold it up, hold it here, exchange your legs, and then we need to repeat it for six, you go down, change legs, roll up, and extend the right, one, down, curling into your spine. Exhale, lift. Two. Long left leg. Exhale, lift. Three. Don't miss your any words where you go down one at a time. And four. Two more. Down. And up. Five. One more. Down. And up. Six. Well done. So from here. You're going to sit sideways with your knees on top of each other and your gliders are on 
the side of your mat where your hands are going to be. So basically, we're going to do some really nice push-ups where you're rotated with your spine. Hands go on the gliders and you're trying to square off your chest to face the floor as much as possible. So try and evenly distribute your weight between the two hands. And then from here, all you do is you're bending the arms going down and then you're coming up. And for most women, we love these push-ups because they're much easier than your normal ones. So you're going to go down and exhale push up. And now to make it harder, take your weight off your hip a little bit. So when you go down, lean forward a little bit. Still with that depression in your shoulders. Exhale to come up. Three. Down. Make sure you squeeze into your shoulder blades and you use your abs to push your up as well. Four. Down. And up. Five. Now you have five more, but we're going to add a leg lift. So you go down with the chest. When you lift up, you're going to lift your leg up. Just up like that. One. You go down. Exhale to lift it up. Two. Lean forward with your torso. Be mindful of that. Three. Down. And up. For four. Last one. Down. And up. Five. Well done. From here, let's lie down on the stomach. So with your hands still on the gliders, you're going to work into your lower back. But before you start, I just want you to focus on pulling your belly button in in this position. So feel how when you pull the navel in, your lower back, that will feel the sensations in your spine and in, in your abs. It's a different sensation than when you're lying on your back. So release the navel and just pull it in. Not tucking into the pelvis, not doing anything with the hips. Now release the navel and pull it in once more. And you want to maintain that throughout. So now your hands are on the gliders. Keep that navel to spine contraction and just depress your shoulders away from your ears. We're not reaching the arms forward. Don't have that depression in there. Hold it here. We're going to lift the chest up. So from the crown of the head, you lift the crown of the head up, then the neck, and then the rest of the body follows. You lift up as high as you can for this one. So let's say this is your range. Hold it here. Pull the belly button in. And now we're going to bend the elbows, pulling them in towards you, and then you straighten them out. You pull the elbows in, squeeze into your upper back, and then you press them out for two. Pull in and press out for three. Think about squeezing the elbows towards each other and activating into the triceps. For four, keep the navel in. Try to relax the feet on the floor. Five, pull, and in. Six, remember pulling through the spine, lengthening in the spine. Six, so I think that's seven. That's my beautiful counting. Eight, if no one likes. <laughs> Pull. Nine, one more. Pull. And ten, and lower the chest down. You're going to find that stability in the shoulders again. So, shoulders away from ears, hold that position. Tuck your chin in so the knee is a is an extension of the spine. And then from here, you're going to lift the chest up as you circle your one arm around and back to your thigh. And then you come back down. We're going to do the same side so you focus on where the movement is coming from. So you depress the shoulders, keep activating into your upper back as you pull up and around. Hold the hand, try to reach for that foot a little lower. So you laterally flex into the side. And then back down. That's two. And again, you lift the chest up, lengthen the spine as you circle that left arm around, reach a bit lower, and then back and through. Three, you just have one more. Lift the chest up high. Circle that arm, lengthen the spine, reach that arm a little lower. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And down for four. Now we change sides. So right arm circles around and back to the thigh. Hold the hand, try to reach down a little bit more. And then you center. That's for one. Remember to activate the abs, pulling that navel in. Think about the sensation you get in the back and in the abs when you do that. Reach that right arm down a bit more. And then you center for two. And again, lift the chest up nice and high. 
Stretch that right arm around and through. Reach it towards the toes. And then down. Three, one more. And up high. Reach that right arm through. See if you can go a little bit deeper into that lateral flexion. And four. From here, create a pillow with your hands. And then rest your head on your hands with your legs bent. So I want you to bend your legs. It's about a 90 degree angle. I'm just going to shift forward so I don't go under my couch. Okay. So about a 90 degree angle like that. And flex your toes towards your knees. I'm not pointing for now. Flex through. In this position, see if you can activate the inner thighs by really squeezing your heels together. Then open your knees so they're as wide as the mat. And we're going to do some heel press motions. So you lift those knees up and high, and then you lower them down. Remember that navel to spine contraction throughout. And we lift and we lower. Two, keep your neck relaxed. And three, try and look down. I'm just looking to the side to watch. Four, make sure you can see me. And five, five more like that. Activate your lower back, activate the glute and lift. Six, now squeeze the, heart, the heels a little harder. Seven, and lift. Eight, two more. On the last one, you're gonna hold it up. One more. Hold it up, extend your legs nice and long. Lock through your quads, pull your heels together in a turnout, and we're gonna beat the heels. So you've got an active beat in the heels, lifting your legs up, and you beat for one, two, three, keep beating, four, long legs, five, six, relax your shoulders, seven, eight, nine, ten, legs down, beat about parallel hip width apart for turn turnout now. Arms extend in line with your ears, and we're going to do the swimming move. So from here, you lift your feet just off, you lift your hands just off, and you depress your shoulders. Hold it here, tuck your chin in, and think about a nice long torso. And we're gonna lift opposite. Right arm and left leg lift, and then you change for one. No bending in your knees. So how high you lift, two, is just determined by the hip extension, three. So don't bend into the hemi, so just think you're lifting higher, four. Now check in with your shoulders. Five, pull them away from your ears. And six, draw in the navel. Seven, you've got three more. And then we're gonna go fast swimming for 10. Two more. Right and left lift, other side. One more. Lift, other side. Now carry on, just speed it up. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, navel in, eight, nine, and ten. Rest down the back. We will give it a bit of a stretch in a moment, but let's bend your arms to 90 degree flexion. So I want you to think about this move as 90 degree flexion in the shoulder and 90 in the elbow. So look at both hands and just make sure that that's correct. And let's have thumbs up. Just focusing on some rotator cups. So straight legs, your legs stay on the floor. From here, you're going to just lift your elbows and your hands off the floor. So we lift them up as high as your shoulder stability and mobility will allow. And then we drop them back down. And then we lift again. Up and lower down for two. Feel how the upper back works to lift those arms up. Three. Every few reps. Check in with your elbows and your shoulders. Four, to make sure that they're in the right angles. Five, navel is pulled in. Nice long neck. Six, your head is just off the floor. Seven, eyes are looking down, not forward. Eight, two more. On the last one, we're going to hold it up. So now hold it up. Circle your arms all the way to your glutes. Hold this position and stabilize your upper back by squeezing it together. Your palms are down. And now we're just going to rotate your hands and the hands face up. And then they face down. So with this move, you're just alternating between the two. I want you to really focus 
I'm squeezing the arms in towards each other, and you'll feel the triceps really activating. It's about four and five. Open your chest. Six, I stay down. Seven, don't strain the neck by looking forward. Eight, two more. Nice, squeeze those triceps in for 10. Hands go down and slowly coming up. You can go into a bit of a child's pose. And after this, you're going to be doing your push-ups the other way. So just try and remember which hip you were on to begin with. And we need to change it. So coming up, you don't necessarily need the gliders for this. I'll just swap over, still facing the same way. Your knees are side up. You're facing the floor with your hands about shoulder width apart. In this position, really try and rotate into your lower back. And then from here, lengthen the spine. You should feel a really nice stretch in your oblique. Hold it here. Let's bend your elbows. When you go down, remember you want to lengthen and reach over with your chest. You're taking the weight off your shoulder, off your hips. And then you press up for one. Down. Take that weight off the hips, exhale to press up, two, down, and press up, three. Think about your upper back, squeeze into it, four. One more, and then we're going to start adding the leg lift, five. Now you go down, keep the legs down. When you come up, lift that top leg up for one, down, nice long torso, and two. Down and up. Three. Down and lift the leg. Four. One more. Lean forward and five. Got that. So if you need a sip of water, grab a sip. And then we're going to be on the knees. You can face me to see better. Okay. So coming up on the knees, you're going to go on your left knee, right leg extended out nice and long, and left hand goes down on the floor. So in this position, a lot of people tend to close this upper hip. I want you to try to open it and really face the front with your hips and with your shoulders. And now take the weight off your hand and put it into the supporting knee. So all the weight should actually just be on this knee. For the first 10, we're just going to curl up with the pelvis, hold this curl, and lift the leg up and down. So exhale to lift, and down for two. Nice long torso, three. Be mindful as to where your weight is, four. Really using the supporting glute, five. Your glute should be waking up nicely, six. Up, down, seven. Up, down. Eight, find the extension in the lifted leg. Nine, one more, you hold it up. Ten, hold it here. Bend your leg, try to kick your glute. And you hold, tuck a little bit more. You're going to open this knee up as the foot drops down. Hold, center it to start. And now we do internal rotation where the knee drops down and the foot lifts. This shouldn't be a big move, it should be very small. And then you center. Then again, external rotation by opening that knee. Center, internal rotation by dropping the knee, foot pushes up. Center, and open. Center, close the knee. This is three. And again, you open that knee, center it first, then you close it, four. When you close the knee, be mindful that the hip doesn't come with you. So that's why you want that small move, four. And open, center, and in. Five more. You should feel this glute burning a lot now. Four more. Have a look where your upper knee is. Needs to be in line with the rest of your body, not in front. Three more. Pull up, center it, slowly down. Two more. Don't rush it. Enjoy it. Center and in. One more. Open, center. And in. Well done. Rest a little bit. While you're resting, we're going to transition into some side planks. So if you go onto the elbow and the knees, make sure that the elbow 
knees and hips are in one straight line, and we're still going to be on this left side. In this position, let's tuck into the pelvis a little bit. Make sure that you're neutral. And as you lift the hips up, you're going to open the upper leg. So you lift and open and back down. You're only doing eight. Lift and open, back down. Two, make sure that you're rising up out of the collarbone. And three. And have a look and check in with your body. Four, you want to be in a neutral position. So the hips aren't dropping forward or back. Five, they're stacked on top of each other. And six, you've got two more. Exhale, lift. And down. One more. Lift. And down. From here, we extend the legs. Now, if you've done Pilates before, go on to your hand. If you're new to this, rather stay on your elbow for this one, just to make it a bit easier. If you don't have hand injuries, though, let's come up onto the hand. Upper leg is forward, just for a little bit of balance. Lower leg is back. And you've got a nice lateral flexion here in the torso. We're going to come up and press it into the hands. You can assist yourself with the upper hand for the first one and just open up into a side plank. From here, this is our starting position. I want you to pike your hips up as you stretch this arm overhead and down towards the floor. And then you center it. This is all you're doing. Pike it up, lift the hips up as high as you can as you reach that arm towards the floor. And then you center for two. Exhale to pike. Inhale to center for three. Exhale to pike. You're only doing six. Four. Keep your curl in the pelvis, crunch up into your oblique. Five, go one more. Crunch up, hold it here. So you can go a little higher. And six, down onto the hip. And let's change sides. So coming up onto your knees, you're going to now be on the right knee. Left leg is nice and long. Right hand goes down on the floor. Just make sure you've got enough space here. In this position, remember not to be heavy into the shoulder. You don't want to be high extending the elbow either. I like to actually just encourage my clients to go onto the hands, uh, onto the fingertips like this, and then at least you don't put so much weight on it. Upper hand can go on hip. In this position, look at your body and make sure that this upper hip is an opening. You're squaring it off to the front, and then you tuck it into the pelvis in that neutral. Lean on the stabilizing glute, and then we lift up and down for one. Up. And down for two. And three. Four. Think about a nice long leg. Five. Squeeze into your upper back. Six. And lift. Seven. Keep going. Eight. Pull the belly button in. Nine. Hold it on tape. Hold. Kick your glutes. Hold it here. Let's go into internal and external rotation. So you open up the knee. As the foot goes down, think about that external rotation that's happening in the hip. Center it. Internal by pushing the knee in, foot out, it shouldn't be a huge move. Center. Open. Center. Close that knee and try to kick the foot up a little. Center. Two. Open. Center. Try to kick it. Three. Open the knee to the ceiling. Center. No movement in the upper hip when you do your internal rotation. Four. Open, center, turn in. That's five. Open, center, and in. Six, you've got four more. Don't stop now. And internal, seven. Open, center, close that knee. Eight, check in with your hips. Make sure that they're tucked. Two more. Open, center, close the knee. Last one. Open, center, close. Well done. Now that the hips are nice and awake, let's go onto the elbow. So you're on the right elbow and the knees. Bend knees, feet are behind you. And you're trying to find a neutral position where the knees, hips, and the elbow are in one straight line. Going into a side plank with the leg lift. Right up out of the clavicle. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, open that upper leg. Inhale, down, tap. Exhale, open. Two, down. Exhale, open. Three, open the upper shoulder. 
four, keep going. Make sure that this lower shoulder is being stabilized, six. This is five, this is six. And two more. One more. Hold it, well done. Extend your legs into your side plank. So now, if you did side plank on the other side on the elbow, stay on the elbow on this side. If you can, go onto the hand, make sure that you don't go into the shoulder. So depress that shoulder away from your ear and then don't hyperextend your elbow. Have a nice soft bend in the elbow. For the first rep, you can assist yourself with your top hand just so you can find the right positioning, okay? Don't open the hip, don't close it. Find that stability in the middle, in that neutral position from here. We pipe the hips up as you reach this arm overhead. Lift the hips up as high as you can, and then you center in a plank. If you're on the elbows, you do the same. The hip never touches the floor. And down for two. Pike it up, and down for three. You've got three more. Exhale to lift. Two more. Exhale to lift. One more. Hold it here. See if you can lift a little higher. Hold it, hold it. And down. Well done. That's only six. From here, we're going to go into some plank variations. So if you can have your gliders next to you, you're going to turn around onto all fours with your feet on the gliders and your hands on the floor. So in this position, think about your cat-cow position that you would do kneeling. So if you were to do cat-cow, let's just do three to move the spine and for the body to know what it's doing. You're going to just tuck the hip bone in, curl into the pelvis, and pull the shoulders up to ceiling. Think about the back of your rib cage pushing up to the ceiling. And then you uncurl the tailbone and sway back anteriorly, looking forward. So we're going to do two more like that. Curl, curl, curl all the way. Tuck, tuck, tuck. And then we're going to anteriorly tilt. You have one more. Curl. Now, when you curl, let's try and look at your belly button. So you're really grounding into your neck as well. And then you anteriorly tilt, looking forward. Now, we're going to repeat that, but with your knees hovering just off the floor. So make sure that you're quite close to the end of your mat, because otherwise it's going to get in your way. Knees are under your hips. Tuck your toes in. And we're going to lift just off your knees. So you have a nice box position here. And we're going to do cat cow again. So I want you to round, round, round as much as you can. Hold it here. No movement up and down with your hips. The hips are still in line with your shoulders. And now you tilt anteriorly and look forward. Extend the spine. And again, you tuck, tuck, tuck. Pull that belly button in. Round into your spine. And then you tilt anteriorly, looking forward. Don't look to the side like me. I'm just making sure everything is still running and then you tilt this is the last one from here we're going to do one leg extensions so let's lift just off your knees and that is your starting position so hold it here you're going to extend your right leg away from you pull it in left leg away from you pull it in and now both legs extend both actively pulling with your abs and again right pulling left Pull in, and now both. You push up with both, exhale to pull in. And again, right, sorry, pull in, left. Pull in, and both. Pull in, good, that's three, two more. Right, left leg straightens back, and both. Last one, right, left, and both. Come in, you can have your knees on the mat, Go into child's pose and just have a small break here. Reach your arms quite far forward and you'll get a really nice stretch in the shoulders. And coming back up. We have one more exercise in this position. You're going to get into a really nice plank, making sure that the hips are nice and neutral. And we're just opening and closing the legs. So one leg extends. Use your abs to hold your 
hips nice and high, extend the other. No dipping in your hips here. We don't want to see this. I want you to really curl into the pelvis. Shoulders are over your wrist. So you're going to open the legs as wide as you can. And then you use your inner thighs to pull back in. So you open, let's go together. Exhale, pull in for one. Open. And pull in for two. Open. Pull in for three. Open. Pull in for four. Open. And five. Open. Six, two more. Use your inner thighs, use your core. Last one. And in. Coming in with your knees. Then slow down on your back. We're going to do rolling like a board. It's a really popular Pilates exercise. It's one of the traditional ones. So if you start in a seated position, it's better. If you start at the bottom, it will be a little bit challenging to get up. So in this position, curl into your tailbone and balance on your sacrum. You lift one leg up to tap, not tabletop, which is also floor, other leg, and draw your heels together. Knees are just separated, and your hands are light. Okay. In this position, you really want to focus on it rounding into your lower back. So the more you pull the belly button in, the more you're going to round into the lower back, and we're just going to be rocking forward and back. So from here, you lean back, and you come up, hover. Do not touch the floor. And again, you go down. And come up and hover for two. Inhale down. Exhale to lift for three. Inhale down. Exhale to lift for four. Down. And five. Down. Six. You've got three more. Keep your chin tucked in to your chest. Two more. Last one. Down. And up. You can sit with your legs crossed and just stretch over with a nice straight back over the legs. And maybe cross the other way, so the other leg tucks in, and then you stretch forward again. And then I'm just going to sneak in one more domino exercise. So if you just take one glider and lie down on your side with that lower hand on the glider, what you're going to do in this position is just make sure you're in a nice straight neutral line. That lower hand is on the glider, the upper hand is up to ceiling and curl into your pelvis. From here, we're going to drop the upper hip back. So you're opening up the hips to the ceiling as you lift into a bit of a Teaser, but a variation of the teaser. Now you can do bent legs here, or straight legs for the people that have done Pilates before. From here we roll down by going back onto your side. Okay, and then again, hip opens to the ceiling as you lift up, either straight leg or bent legs, reaching this arm forward. And then you go down, square it off. This is two. And again, you open the hip and lift, balancing on your glute, and back down slowly. Three, really focus on your control here. Exhale to lift. Inhale to go down slowly. Four, and exhale to lift. And five, slowly down, balance on those hips. Lift, and down. Last one now, and you're gonna hold it up. Exhale, lift, and hold it here. Finger behind the skull over wide. Soften this bottom arm. Tap the toes down on the floor. And you extend them up for one. Still coming off that top glute. Two. We're just going to for six. Three. Tap it. Extend. Four. You should feel the burn in your oblique here. Five. One more. And six. Well done. Changing over. Extending through the bottom arm. Have a nice, strong back. Curl into the pelvis. Make sure you're in that straight, neutral position with your upper hand reaching to the ceiling. In this position, make sure that the shoulder isn't rounding forward. So really focus on stabilizing it. And we're going to open this hip as you come up. Remember, you can do bent legs. Don't force yourself to do straight legs. 
and then back down. So if you're doing bent legs as you come up, you just bend your knees into a tabletop stance. And then when you go down, you extend them and balance on your hip. This is two. So you open this hip, pull the bottom arm towards you, bend or straight, and then you extend. Three. And again, exhale to lift. And then back down. Four. Exhale to lift. Balancing only on the one glute. Don't let the other glute fall down here. Five. One more. Exhale to lift. And down six. Now you're going to hold it up. So we come up again. Hold it here. Finger behind the skull, elbow wide. Balance on the one hip. Tap the knees, the feet down on the floor. Exhale to lift up. Down. Exhale to lift up. Two. Down. Exhale. Three. Feel the obliques working. Four. Down. Soft on the bottom arm. Five. One more. And six. Well done. Okay. We're just going to add a little bit of a cool down. So I want you to do three rolling like a balls again. But on the third one, let's try and stand up without using our hands. So in the rolling up position, you've got curl tuck, curl tuck, curl pelvis, your feet are together, hands are to the side. You're going to go down again, exhale to lift for one. On the third one, we try come up and stand up. Two, one more, and three, lean over your legs, and see if you can stand up. Okay, let's start with some roll, roll downs again. That's how we began the workout. So you have your feet parallel hip width apart. Inhale where you are, reach your arms up to ceiling and really focus on a nice long back. And now exhale, curl into your tailbone, roll down from your upper back all the way down to the floor. Or as far down as you can go, and you might feel that now you're able to go a bit lower. In this position, I want your left hand to stay down on the floor as you rotate your right arm up to ceiling. So you're getting a nice rotation in your thoracic spine. Hold it here and bend your left knee. You should be able to deepen that rotation. Hold the arm up, change legs. Bend the other leg now. Place your hand down, straight legs, and we go the other way. Left arm opens up to ceiling, hold it for a few counts, and let's bend your right leg. When you bend that right leg, you should be able to reach that arm further back. Try not to strain your neck in this position. Then change legs if you can. And then hands down on the floor center. From here, I want you to come up into your chair pose. So Bend your knees, extend your arms up, and we're going to do the rainbow rotations again. So you take your one hand, go right back. Remember your knees mustn't move, so keep them in alignment. See if you can go a bit deeper now with your stretches. Your body should feel better now, more mobile. Other way, left arm reaches back as far as it can. Check in with your knees, and you come in. One more to each side. To the right. And return. And to the left. Big circle. Big rotation in the shoulder. And return. Tap your tailbone in. And just roll up. And you can rest. Well done. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope you enjoyed that, guys.